We all agreed it would be helpful to better understand fame by talking to someone who was actively working on making himself famous. A few days later, we came across an ad in a newspaper placed by Walter Gollander, a local talent scout who had devoted the better part of his life to working in the entertainment industry. Influenced by Chuck Berry, Fats Domino, and Elvis Presley, Gollander started out with dreams of becoming a rock and roll star, but soon realized he didn't have the voice and switched over to talent scouting, finding and managing artists. He's probably best known in his hometown of Irvington, New Jersey, for his fluorescent orange business cards, and he's currently trying to discover the next big singing sensation. We set up a meeting with Gollander to gain some insight on the pursuit of fame. Uh, Walt, can you tell us exactly what you do? I'm a talent scout, music promoter, manager, publisher, consultant, deal maker, sort of like a musical midwife. I deliver the talent, I bring it into the world. How long have you been doing this for? This is my 30th year. I started in 1963, so wish me congratulations and happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Thank you. wanted to be a singer, songwriter, promoter. I needed the audience. I had to get out there and be famous. I had to be somebody. And the way to do it's out there in front of that audience. But I wasn't a singer, so I lived through my artists. I'm a talent scout. Why, why do you want to become famous? Because as, as a young kid growing up, I was nothing. And I wanted to be recognized and admired for the little talent that I had. And I loved the applause, and I liked the recognition, and I loved being in the spotlight, and I would do anything for that. Gave up teaching to be here today, believe it or not.